Tonight, an outpouring of love and support from the community after a beloved Hendersonville police officer died in the line of duty this week. A temporary memorial continues to grow for Officer Spencer Bristol outside the police station. And as News Channel 5's Chris Conti shows us, plans are already in the works for a permanent tribute. Devastating. A city's heart torn in half. And at the Hendersonville Police Department today, reminders of the man they lost. He lost one of the, the brightest young officers in our police force. Andy Guiley manages the Parks Department for the city. He would often run into Officer Spencer Bristol on patrol over the last five years he served the city. Funny, outgoing, you know, everybody that knew him, I think, knew him for the smile on his face. It was Monday night when Officer Bristol was chasing Amani Martin and Kevin Jordan after the two were allegedly selling drugs. After they crashed their car on I-65, the two men took off on foot. Officer Bristol got out of his car to chase the men when he was hit and killed. He was a great young man who grew up here and has friends and family, and it's, it's devastating. As the memorial for Officer Bristol grew today, so too did support for an idea that would create a permanent memorial for him. Last week, the city started taking suggestions to name this new 75-acre park off Indian Lake Boulevard. Since Officer Bristol died, his name has been submitted hundreds of times. Indy Guiley hopes that sends a message to his family. They would know that their city greatly respects the sacrifice that, that their son and their husband and their father gave trying to protect our city. It will be months before city officials decide what name to pick for this park. But for now, just the gesture alone serves as a testament to the man Officer Bristol was. That young man will be honored by our city forever. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Thank you, Chris. Funeral arrangements are now set for Officer Bristol. A visitation will be held Monday from 2 to 7 at First Baptist Church in Hendersonville. Another visitation on Tuesday from 9 in the morning to 11. The funeral will be held immediately after. Law enforcement attending are asked to bring soap bubbles to help comfort his young daughter during the procession.